Hi, all. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Uh, in today's video, we'll discuss how you can change a report in Microsoft Dynamics Nav. Uh, this video can be used by customers or if you are a consultant who want to configure reports. For the demo, I'm using Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2016, but this report selection feature is there even in the older version. So uh, you can uh, repeat the steps even on the older version, let's say 2009 or the 2013 or 2015. Uh, the feature does not allow you to configure all reports. Let's be clear about it. Uh, it allows you to configure some of the commonly used report which can be configured into the system. Let's take an example of a uh, posted sales invoice report and see how we can change it. So I'm right now on uh, using Cronus uh, North America version. So I'm right now on the company called Cronus USA. Let's go to the poster document, uh, select poster sales invoice. If I select the invoice and say, let's say print, uh, here it is. So a pop, uh, the, this is called the request page, which will pop up from the help. I can see the report ID or the report, which is configured is one one. 10074 which will run uh, when I print a sales invoice uh, but with the what if if uh, as a customer you required a report which your partner had developed for you a customized report or uh, you want to use some other layout which is provided by Microsoft so in this particular scenario let's have a look that what all invoice report option we have in North America version so in North America version we have the 10074 which the system right now is using uh, then there is 10070 which is a pre-printed report that means uh, you have a pre-printed paper which have your company logo and uh, already printed and you want it uh, to use the sales invoice for that so then you use 10070 then we have 1306 which is for mini sales invoice so if you haven't heard about the mini sales uh, or the mini role center page look for the videos uh, it's already there and then there is a report called 206 which is for the worldwide version of dynamics nav so let's assume that uh, you as a customer or your customer want to use 206 uh, for you know, printing the posted sales invoice so you don't need to get it customized let's navigate to departments then the administration under administration you go to the IT administration and then you have uh, journal under journal tab you'll find the report selection option so under task you can see you have a report selection bank account report selection service production order inventory purchase and sales so I want to change a report uh, uh, for the sales invoice so I'll select report selection sales uh, I want to change a report for the invoice so I'll navigate to invoice and as you can see that currently the report is configured as 10070 and I want to use 206 so I can just go here and change it to 206 and click OK let's go back to the poster document poster sales invoice select one from the action ribbon let's say print if I say print this is my report 206 which is different from 10072 and I can even preview it now report selection uh, is uh, works for different company you can have it differently like for the Cronus USA which we were testing right now uh, we change it to uh, 206 but for Cronus Canada which is the other company in the Cronus uh, database for North American version if I go to the posted sales invoice and if I print it it is still points to the same report which is 100 Seven four. So if I preview it, the preview would look a bit different. So this is my uh, output from one zero zero seven ID report, and this is my output from the W one version report. So these two are the different reports uh, which I can configure at uh, at the setup. And the same applies for other document types. So if you want to change it, let's say for uh, the purchase you can again go back to the department and select it from purchase and you have all the options which you want like for vendor re uh, remittance uh, receipt uh, and if you are you know 
planning to change your uh, uh, report for check you can look into here this is a statement this is a check report so most of the report which are uh, majorly used in the system can be configured from here um, so you just need to know only the report ID that you want to change and for which document you want to change once you specify it here uh, you don't need to do anything and everything will uh, work as expected so that's all for today uh, let me know your views on it uh, please do like share and comment on the video see you next time thank you